Now, well, first of all, maybe a few sentences about who Gleason is and what we do. Sure. So we are a company that uh, focuses totally on uh, gear, gear design, gearbox design, production of gears with all the necessary equipment around uh, gear making. So this includes the machines, this includes the cooling products like you see here on the table. This includes uh, technology and uh, all the engineering expertise inside of this. Plus then we cover the inspection and analysis of those gears uh, before they move into their final destination application on the customers. What's your focus and innovative approach to the technology development in your company? What is your focus and innovative approach to technology development in the sector? When you say innovative approach, uh, we have done many things for the design, what we are doing, the design improvements we have done, into the noise analysis and other things. And manufacturing side, I would say we are building more and more products in our factory in India. We are shifting certain technologies here and building new products. Yeah, and then you know, I think you need to be mentioned that Gleason covers a very broad array, many different industries, like from automotive to industrial to uh, chip gearboxes, marine gearboxes, windmills, steel mills. So a very wide array, different customers, different requirements and uh, always our customers have moved us to the next level because they challenge us with um, new requirements and so to mention just a few there is the big market current in the e-drive you know where where the combustion engine will be replaced by, by uh, e-drive the system and then what about those gearboxes? They look different. What about the necessities for those gearboxes? Different requirements than in the past. So of course we need to innovate uh, within our machines, within our technological approach to, to make those uh, those gears applicable to the e drive. Uh, another segment moving to larger gears. There's a big big activity in the wind industry. Thinking about sustainability, thinking about green energy. So, uh, countries want to get away, reduce their carbon footprint, want to get away from historical energy sources. So, now they ramp up their, their renewable energy infrastructure. And so, then there is a lot of new things to consider in that uh, large gears, large uh, generator and drive trains, where we adapt our machines step by step. Um, plus, from the design side, we have ESOF on board uh, since uh, roughly five, six years, which is uh, the market leader in design and mathematical analysis of gear drive trains, of gear boxes, gear drive systems. And uh, even before chips are produced on, on machines, which is costly, uh, we support the customers in uh, simulating, in investigating different approaches in order then to finally select the best one before real production starts. So this is just three examples out of the decent world and so there is many others uh, out of those. Fingerprint is another one, which is a machine fingerprint we take and we dispatch the machine. We know it's behaving in certain vibration level, in certain signals. And you do it after one year or six months or two years, and then you can see how the machine condition is, which will also help our customers to make a decision. Yes, what part they need, how the machine condition is, what needs to be done, it can be corrected without stopping their work, which is a part of Industry 4.2 technology. And then there is always, you know, independently of the customers and industry, make it faster, make it more accurate, make the gears more quiet, longer life. So all of these things 
challenges us from, from day to day and we, we go through it with our customers, with our technological experts, finding better, faster ways, more productive ways to, uh, to uh, give those years produced.